It's Carter Sports back. And today, we going to talk about this game five. And can the Lakers force a game six? Jamal Murray may be hobble. So let's go. And if you've been here before, can you please hit that like, please? And if you ain't subscribed, boy, you better subscribe. So you telling me we got a chance? <laughs> you know what I'm saying? You telling me we got a chance? I heard Jamal Murray kind of hobble. Heard Jamal Murray got a cash rain. He questionable. Now, I think Jamal Murray a dog, right? He a dog. So I feel like he going to gut that. He, he, he playing. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? He playing tonight, right? But if he questionable and, and, and if that cast kind of tenderized, you know, the, you know, you know, the flesh is weak. You know what I'm saying? The, the, the flesh is tender. So if that skin is tenderized, right, he might not be at 100%. And believe it or not, that could swing the odds for the Lakers. Because if you watch these games, everybody, I know everybody who fought the Lakers for the sports, we, we didn't see the stats all ran today, right? And I'm recording this before game five, right? We didn't see all the stats, right? And the Lakers then led like 72% of the game, like 140 game minutes to only like Denver 40 minutes. So the Lakers, if you just look at the percentage of time led, they look like the Lakers, they've been controlling the game. But what swings the game? How is Denver still winning? How is Denver still winning when the Lakers controlling the game? So you can watch all the games, right? And in the first half, Jokic could be balling. Jokic been balling. He the joker. Aaron Gordon do his thing. Michael Porter doing their thing, right? All balling. Michael Porter seemed like he can't miss against the Lakers. He's like seven for nine every game. Eight for 11, eight for 12, six for eight. Like he don't miss against us. He dead eye against the Lakers. He loves seeing that purple and gold for some reason. But even when they doing that, the Lakers still been up 15 at the half. Still been up a dub. You know what I'm saying? With Porter balling, Aaron Gordon balling, KCP doing this thing. Uh, that young kid that used to play for UCLA that they got coming off the bench, bench Peyton Waters, I forget it. Something like that. Coming off the bench, blocking shots, doing his thing, providing uh, energy. Joker doing his thing. And the Lakers still be smacking them. Lakers, them balling, them doing all that, the Lakers still smacking them. Smacking them, smacking them. Up 15, up 20. And when does the tide change? Right? When does the tide change? Will Jamal Murray start cooking? <laughs> Will Jamal Murray start cooking? He's the clear common denominator to all these wins. What happened game two? Buzzer beater. Clutch in the fourth quarter. You know what I'm saying? So if Jamal Murray can't be amazing, every second half that he's been, all they wins, all them three wins, amazing in the second half. Mediocre first half, Nuggets getting smacked. Jamal Murray, amazing second half, Nuggets smacking Lakers. So if Jamal Murray can't get into his Jamal Murray second half against the Lakers mode, you know what I'm saying? That's what we gonna call it, right? If he can't get into that mode, the Lakers be smacking Denver. Now is that's just the byproduct of the first four games that that could change? Like that ain't finite that the Lakers gonna smack the Nuggets if Jamal Murray can't do his thing like the Nuggets can't Beat the Lakers with Jamal Murray having a bad game. Is that fight night? But that's what's been going on so far in this series. Like I said, Joker be balling. Gordon be balling. Porter be balling. KCP be balling. And the Lakers still be smacking them chicken nuggets. The tie changed when Jamal Murray say, hold on. Ain't nobody over here really could guard me. Man, this series be crazy if we have Vando and Cam Reddish. Everybody was like, yeah, the Lakers should catch the Nuggets in the first round while LeBron them still fresh. Nah, we should have caught the Nuggets in the second round or something. Know what I'm saying? So, because I feel like this year against the Nuggets, if, if Vando and Cam, maybe Jamal Murray, just maybe. Just maybe. 
Jamal Murray can't just turn it on like that. Because Jamal Murray is the type of guard. He's six foes, like six five, six, somewhere in that range, right? If you his height, he gonna cook you. You need somebody long on Jamal Murray, six eight. Know what I'm saying? Six seven. But even then, he'll start running a lot of pick and roll to get the matchup he won. So and we have Bando and Reddish on the floor at the same time. You know that, but that sacrifices offense and spacing, right? But that will make it harder on Murray. He would they will really have to go out of their normal comfort zone, which is not, but he would have to go heavy ISO, heavy pick and roll, picking out a player to try to pick and roll. And and they can run that, you know, in the final. 12 minutes, you know that fourth quarter, they could get away with that with the fourth quarter, but it would have been more of a challenge, right? If we had Cam Reddish and Van though. So if Jamal Murray is hobbled and his impact is effect, if, uh, affected, maybe like how Cam and Van would have had on, then that injury is probably doing the same thing that Van and Cam could have did, at least for one game if he hobbled. So if he can't turn on to God mode against the Lakers, which he usually do in the second half, the Lakers might have a chance. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? And if the Lakers win game five, we live. It's going seven. If they win game five, I don't see no way in hell they ain't winning game six at Staples. The Lakers, they should be, they should be the most confident team ever down three run considering how they control most of these games the Lakers should if you look at the time of possession of lead the Lakers should be up 3-1 against the Nuggets like for real they should be up 3-1 so that's why it's tough because it's like you gotta be the team four times but in a way without Murray going God mode the Lakers already didn't beat the Nuggets three times so like when, when you lose games you should have won, it's like you got to you gotta beat them twice. So it's like the Lakers going to have to win seven games just to get the four. Because they played well enough to win three, but they only got one win. So they, you know what I'm saying? It's like they got to beat them six times. <laughs> you get what I'm saying? So it's going to be hard. But if Murray ain't Murray and if the Lakers can keep, if the Lakers just keep playing at the same level they playing now, and the Nuggets keep playing at the same level they playing now, but Murray hobble. Oh yeah, 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 yeah. It, it, like the Lakers taking game five and six if that's the case. Game seven, you never know. Players gonna play their heart out. You know, I, I see Willis Reed. Well, I didn't see it, but we all know about Willis Reed with the Knicks coming out on one leg. Like, but I feel like, man, if. Things keep going how they going, and the only change is Murray a little hobble, or he don't. If he don't play, it is definitely the Lakers should smack. If, if everything remained the same, consistent in the series, what I didn't seen in the series. So, like I said, the Lakers they should be in their mind the most confident team down three one ever because how they control these games, especially just on a game by game basis. Like, so just for this game five, the Lakers could look at these previous four games. We been better than them. Jamar Murray just clicked it, it shifting into a gear we, we couldn't overcome three times. Two for sure. You know what I'm saying? So it's like, they got to feel confident. And if I'm the Lakers, I'm thinking, well, we some ballers too. F that. We, 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 we somebody too. We all professionals out here. And if they could beat us 11 times in a row, which they did, why we can't beat them four times in a row? If they did, I, I'm like, I'm thinking, like, the percentages should catch up. Right? The Nuggets in the last 12 games against the Lakers, they should not be 11 and 1. The difference in talent and quality level of team is not that big of a difference for the Nuggets to be up 11 1 on the Lakers the last 12 games. So at some point, like in baseball, at some point, you know, a batter, he he, he, he might start the season five for, for 50. But if he a great player, eventually, the 
Then I'm just gonna balance out. He gonna end up batting when he bat 350 and not be batting 100. Like after a while, the cream gonna rise to the top. Things balance it out. Numbers is gonna balance it out. So the Lakers are 11 and one. The 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 Nuggets put an 11 game run against the Lakers. Why the Lakers ain't going to four? Oh, run against the Nuggets for a playoff series, crush their heart down 3 0. What if the Nuggets have have ran out against the Lakers? What if this run on them, they got on the Lakers, they, they they can't keep this up? How, how do we know this run on the Lakers is just a, a, a hot streak they got against the Lakers, right? Because some th teams can not necessarily be better than you, but have your number. But have your number. Just like a player could get hot and hit 10, 11 threes in the game, the Nuggets ran up 11 wins on the Lakers. What if that is just, what if that a fluke? And you say, hell no, that ain't a fluke, but I'm just saying, think about it. At least on a point to where the numbers can balance it out. So you mean to tell me if these teams play 12 more times, the Nuggets will, um, will be 22 and two against the Lakers. Like, this is really the Nugget-Laker ratio, 11 to one. The, the Nuggets gonna win 11 out of 12 games against the Lakers to, to, to the end of time? Or is it time for the Lakers to balance this out? And all they need to do is win three more. So when you, the Lakers gotta look at it like that. Like y'all little hot streak against us that ran down. Like you could be playing the game and somebody get hot, they hit five or six threes and they cooking in the game. And then you weather that storm, weather that storm. Okay, you did that. You was hot, now you ain't hot no more. Now we back to back and forth. We, we, we back to see who really finna get it done. Yeah, you wanted your little streak. So if I'm a Lakers, I'm thinking that. So do we have a chance, y'all? <laughs> if I convince y'all? <laughs> I don't know if I, I try to convince myself, but I, I mean, I can see it. And it may sound strange, I can see it because they did run off 11 straight against the Lakers, and I don't think they that much better against the Lakers. And I'm a man to believe that the average is always gonna balance out. And I don't think if they play the Lakers another 12 games, they'll be 11 to one against the Lakers. And I feel like if before this streak started, before the Nuggets ran 11 game on the Lakers, and somebody asks you, do you think the Nuggets can beat the Lakers 11 straight games and, 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 and sweep them in the playoffs? You'll probably be like, nah, I don't know about that. Like, they might pick the Nuggets, but they nobody would have said, yeah, they they finna take the next 11 straight out of the Lakers. Right? So when will it balance out? I don't see baseball seasons, you know, the division opponents play each other 15, 20 times a, 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 a year. And I done seen baseball teams run off streaks on each other, then the other team run a streak on them, <laughs> right? Yankees Red Sox, you remember that? <laughs> remember that? Then the Red Sox come down 3-0 against the Yanks. The averages gotta balance out. <laughs> so hopefully this is the case that the averages gotta balance out. But right now, that's just in the future. Look, right now, game five. Hey, if Murray can't get in the guy mode and things remain the same, we can do this, but we can't have no no horrible, we, we can't have D-Lo missing. D-Lo and Ridge, man, y'all at least gotta be in, in, in the 12 to 15 point range. We can't have no six, seven points from D-Lo and Ridge. Like, we at least, they need to at least be by the 15s, right? We need to limit turnovers and protect the glass. They did a good job protecting the glass. Game four, they may get eight second chance points against the chicken nuggets, right? But they ate back, they ate some chicken nuggets game four. So they need to keep eating some chicken nuggets on the glass, right? Limit the turnovers and D-Lo Reese, you can't disappear on us. Y'all can't disappear on us. And in the fourth quarter, Mix it up, trap, blitz, Murray sometimes. Don't let him just cook one-on-one -on -one and get in the rhythm. Even if you gotta give up an open shot to somebody else because once Murray get in the rhythm, no, it ain't no stopping him. I take my chances with, even though KCP and, and Michael Porter, they dead-eye shooters, right? But when it's that fourth quarter, that godlike time, man, I'm trying to do something. I, I ain't trying to let Jamal Murray shoot the ball. 
I'm not. I'm going out by Michael Porter or KCP sniping me out. And that's highly possible. But it's a damn near guarantee if Jokic and Murray cooking. Right? So, Lake Show, let's go, man. <laughs> Take this game one at a time. Game five. We have a chance. So, I'm saying we have a chance. I'm mispaying the picture. We have a chance. Maybe averages start to balance out against the Lakers and Nuggets, man. So, what y'all think? What y'all think, man? Is we on to something? In Carter Sports, is we on to something with the Lake Show? Or nah? Let me know in the comments, man. Let me know in the comments what y'all think. But I'm finna get ready for this game. What? I'm about to come on and what? Uh, what time the game? So I don't even know when to start. But I might come back at y'all at halftime. Talk about this a little bit. What we see. But this game five is important. It's kind of juicy. This, this, uh, I can't wait to see how this unfold. It's going to tell me a lot. But I'm going to holler at y'all probably at halftime or after the Lakers game.